tournament is gonna restart in about 30 seconds. I'm going to be playing two games at a time and I'm gonna start with the tier four challenge. I'm gonna be basically going for the number one spot. So it's time to go try hard now. Um, I wanna see how long I can keep it or like after a certain amount of games uh, where I would be placed at. So that's what we're gonna go for this game or this series basically. Okay, so I'm gonna just do like a whole tier four challenge and kind of see where I'm placed at after the games. It's kind of, it, obviously it is skill of, of how high you're gonna get placed after a certain amount of games, but some of it is, you know, if you get a good map, if you get a good lobby, obviously this is a really good map to start off with. Uh, real small, a lot of action. So I should be placing pretty high. I don't know how heating is looking out. Triple kill. So I like to, when I get to about a minute and a half, I like to see how many kills I got. And then obviously that's half the game. So if we double that, I should get around double the amount of kills that I have at 130. So I'm playing a little bit more aggressive than I would. Uh, usually, I'll play a little bit more slower. I don't like to die as much. Um, I'm still worrying, about, I'm always worrying about my death, making sure I don't die. But because I wanted to try to see how high I can get placed after the game, I'm gonna be a little bit more aggressive. If I, if I took a death or two, I'd probably just be okay with it. If I got a good scoring game, I just want to see how high I can get placed. I've done it before. I mean, I've been number, I've been number one, you know, top five, top ten. So, and the only reason I'm going to do only one challenge is because obviously, you know, I can play all night and see where I'm placed at. But I wanted to kind of start a little series. Every week when it resets, I'll try to record the games. If I can uh, catch the tournament ending, I'll try to record the games and then try to see what's the highest I can get placed after like seven games of the tier challenge. And then I'll try a different tier next week. Maybe I'll do like a tier five or tier three. Those are probably out of those are probably the three best ones right now. I don't have my T90 maxed out yet, so when I get that maxed out or my M1A2 maxed out. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna stick with. They're both about the same in terms of upgrades, so I'm not sure which one I'm gonna stick with uh, on upgrading it until it's maxed out. I'm either gonna go with the T90 or the M1. Not sure yet. So this should be a 20-0 game. Very nice for my first one. We're gonna see what the score is. I'll check the score after every game just to see where I'm placed. Twenty-one and no, fifty thousand dollars. All right, we're number five right now. The person in first place is about 300 points in front of me, so. And if you guys seen right there, my rank is platinum five. There was actually a glitch in the game that they didn't put you at your right, at your correct rank. I think they did a pretty good job compensating for it. Uh, they gave you 70% more coins than you would have gotten and they giving you a, a, a part of the clan decal is 30% uh, reload faster. You, uh, you get 30% faster on your reload. So it's a pretty good conversation. They messed up, so they definitely made up for it. 
Um, I think it's kind of, I think it's kind of weak that they put put it on a plan decal. Um, I don't really have a plan as of right now, so I got a couple couple of you guys and my friends on here, so you guys invite me all the time. So I just joined a couple clans, and so I can get the clan decal. Don't get the stars because you'll get a higher rank and you'll play against harder people. I don't really care about that stuff. I just, if it's in front of me or if I want to get it to get a higher score, then I'll get them. So I'm not really ever too worried about playing. You're always going to play somebody stronger than you. You're always going to play somebody higher than you. It's about, I always tell you guys, it's about making good decisions, being smart. So... All right, so halfway halfway through the game, we're about 10 to go, so this should be around another 20 and 0 game, or at least a 20 kill game. We're gonna try not to die. And no no theme on this one. I know I do my my other series and stuff like that. Like I said, this one right here, I just want to see how high I'm getting played, so you guys see how I play when I play aggressive and I want to go for score. Also for a lot of those people, when I play with my M1, it's a little bit slower and it's not upgraded, so I like to play a little bit slower. This is a good video for you guys that like when I rush around a little bit more. So, 15 and 0, we got 40 seconds left. We might not hit 20, but still pretty good games. Like I said, I'm gonna record two at a time. And then, um, we'll see where, where we are at after like seven games. I'm not going to complete the tier challenge because I want to save it. But um, after about seven games, I want to see where I'm placed at. So, 18 and 0. Try to get two more. We're gonna see where we're replaced at. Oh, we almost got the 20. We're gonna see where we're replaced at after two games, and then I will see you guys on the next two. I'll keep it going and see where we're replaced at. Oh, number four. So we're about 400 points um, lower than the number one guy. We got 21 kills and or 20 kills in the first game and 19 kills in the second one. So I don't know how many kills he begin, but see you guys on the next one. Laters.